Welcome back. Today's topic is sharpening hooks, kind of a lost thing in our industry. Uh, a couple reasons why. One, we've changed our hooks temper, meaning they're harder now. We have a, what's called chemically sharpened hooks nowadays, which means they're a higher temper. They got these incredible points, but that high temper means that they're kind of brittle often. And I want to show you a couple things. Uh, on your wet flies and your dry flies and just common sense things. When you look at these hooks, put them down here where you can see these. When you look at them, when you look at a dry fly, which is this one over here, this, this fly right here, and you look at a wet fly, identical, these are the same size hooks, but a wet fly is a one extra stout, which generally speaking, heavier wire, right? It's bigger and it's, this fly, is, this wet fly is underwater. The dry fly is on top. And so it's a couple things to consider. A dry fly, the only thing that can really dull a hook for all practical purposes is a rock. Uh, you know, generally trees don't do it very often. And the thing to consider on your dry flies is if your hook has in some way got dull, like you can usually feel it, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, you probably hit it hard enough to take the temper out of the hook. Your hook's probably gonna break anyway. And so I, I don't encourage people so much on their dry flies to, unless you're using like a size 12 or something really big. But again, it's not very often that you've dulled dry flies and we'll go over it. It's the same premise if you're gonna sharpen it. But on a wet fly, something like this, which has a, generally speaking, has a heavier gauged hook, right? It's a one extra stout. Uh, that one is underwater. You have a higher likelihood that you might hit a rock with it. And what you do when you hit a rock, what happens is it just kind of bends the tip over a little bit, which dulls it up. It still can be pretty sharp, but it just gives it a little bit of dull. And you've got a little bit more hook in a, in a small fly or a, a wet fly. You got a little bit heavier gauge than you would with your dry fly. So I'm not too opposed to sharpening those. But even, that said, they're still chemically sharpened and higher temper hooks nowadays. And so the, in the old days, they were a little beefier. You know, didn't have this really light wire hooks as much as we do today, and they weren't as heavy a temper, so or as hard of a temper, so you hardly ever broke them. They bent, bolt, you know, you could bend them back and forth a little bit, not so much anymore. But then you get into the streamers, and that's when people really start sharpening their hooks a lot more because we're underwater, we're hitting rocks, we're throwing it, you know, you're throwing a lot of cash, your flies down, you're throwing to rock walls, you're throwing all this stuff, and the flies go in and they hit rocks. And the thing to remember when you're sharpening a hook is A, the bend is always going down. So it's, you're not gonna, it's gonna bend it this way. So you're always gonna take your hook and you're going to sharpen away from the point this way. It's always gonna be bent, right? It's gonna be dented on the end. And because these are chemically sharpened, they have these incredible points. And so, you have to be very careful when you do this. If, if you have to really get after a hook, the likelihood of that lasting is pretty small. I mean, that you're just gonna, the temper's gonna be gone. You're gonna end up breaking the tip. But if you've got just a little bit, where like if you put your finger on it, and it doesn't feel sharp, or put your thumbnail on it and, it and it just goes down very easily, it's probably rounded. And so, and you can see it most of the time. So when you're gonna do that, you simply, I like these little, these are really cheap, they're just diamond, files you can there's not much to them in the old days we used what were called point files for cars you know for and they were files man we you'd take a lot of hook off with those things if a hook nowadays i mean with the new hooks if i can't do it with a diamond i just hook it i mean i'm not going to sit there and work on that hook anymore it's just too they're too hard so when i do this i usually i try to look where the round is where the dent is you know if it's coming towards you and I go to that immediately, and that's all I try to hit. And so I go in here, setting a good focus point, you good there? And I, I go away from my hook, and I do it just enough where I can feel, okay, I feel the burr, and I've got the burr gone, and I go back. I try to do as little as possible. These are not, these hooks are just too sharp and too out of the gate, and if I have to do too much on it, I'm not going to, and again, these are trout hooks, not saltwater hooks. That's a different world. But it's the same premise to sharpening. 
And so I go away from myself. And if you look at the file, they've got these little grooves in them. I've seldom, I, I mean, I'll start with one of those and I'll, if I've got a pretty good nick and I go into that groove, and then I generally go over to the flat sides of these for my for mine, and I, I just like to work it a little bit, and I'm always looking at the bottom of the hook, trying to see, because it almost always is bent there, and I go against that, and I just hold it as best I can, and I just keep checking it, and look at it. Don't, I mean, you, usually you can feel that if it's, if it's over. On this one, the tip of that hook is a little bit rounded. I could feel it with my thumb. I just went against it like that. I could feel it. I could hear it dragging against the, and I did one little turn like that, and I was instantly sharp. It was just that fast. Again, these are not, these aren't saltwater hooks, the stainless hooks, which you get a little bit more meat, and then you're using a dip. You're still using the same away from you hook, but you can use a little bit more aggressive uh, file on those. But on the trout hooks, I would discourage you from sharpening a dry fly or for that matter, most wets and nymphs, but a little bit. But on your streamers, you'll frequently need to hit it just a little bit. And I'm telling you, a really sharp hook makes a big difference on hooking that fish. Hope you liked it. Hope it helps you out.